Hey everyone, um, just wanted to give you a tip here on uh, you know two-piece portable gaming tables. I saw Chad over at uh, Vivid Adventures 2010 uh, recently built a, a two-piece table, and uh, one of the problems you face with this is uh, you know when you actually put the two pieces together, you know well how do you hold them together to keep people from like bumping them apart and stuff in the middle of your game? You don't want models falling down the cracks in between the two. So here's my uh, uh, here's one half of my table, and uh, there's the other half there. I built these last spring, and uh, I saw Chad uh, use like kind of like giant staples to to hold this together. What I did here was uh, I drilled holes in the side, and then put magnets in there, and I put uh, put magnets in in both sides so that they actually stick together when you uh, bring the two pieces together. Now obviously it's important to get the polarity right there because you don't want your uh, two pieces pushing apart, you want them pulling together. Um, there's a, the biggest magnet I used. I, I think in the future I would probably use a little bigger magnet so it was a little stronger. Um, but all I did was drill a hole, push the magnet in, and then just cover it in epoxy. Uh, once I had one side done and it was all dried, I stuck the magnet to it for the other side and then push the two pieces together to uh, make an imprint on, on the other piece so I knew where to drill so everything was lined up perfectly. Um, it's real nice because you know I got my tables just leaning up against the wall like this and the foam is starting to warp uh, but the magnets will actually hold them straight once I, I put it together because they kind of warped in opposite directions. Um, the only other thing I think I'd change is I only put a magnet there and then a magnet all the way down at the bottom I probably put one in the middle too because uh, there's a bit of a, a, a warp in the middle as well so there's that's my gaming table here I got to cut into uh, two three by four sections so it comes together to make a six by four and it fits in the trunk of my car which is kind of nice if I ever go anywhere um, I just textured it with sand you know, glued the sand down and then painted it up and then uh, glued some flock down over that. The flock is just sand sawdust that I dyed.